So what we have here is we're trying to come up with a solution for um, bulky first aid items in the backpack. Um, a lot of the items I have have some kind of bulk to them, and I'm getting tired of trying to deal with carrying other items in my backpack with them. So I got this uh, large cutting board. It was a large rectangular plastic uh, cutting board. And I chopped off the corners there. And now um, it's got a handle and it fits right into that backpack in the laptop compartment. So it slides right in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take <clears throat> some Velcro stick it on the back of some of my first aid items and it's a hook and loop with a uh, adhesive and I'll adhere it right to this cutting board. I have some uh, quick clot clotting gauze and combine ABD pads in this pouch along with some 4x4 gauze, handful of 4x4 gauze. I have an Israeli bandage and what I'm going to do with these items like the Israeli bandage, I'm going to leave the picture side out so I can uh, reference that if I need to or someone else can reference it also if um, we need to use them. And then I have a uh, SWAT T tourniquet to supplement my soft T wide tourniquet that uh, sits in my bag in the tourniquet holder. Right back there. I know, too much time. Um, and then we have some uh, C locks, a CPR face shield, uh, high fin vent, chest seal. And they are compressed gauze. It's North American Rescue people. Check them out. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Come on. That's who they are. And they are rescue.com. Phone number, address. And then we have some uh, other items we're carrying in this amenity bag from a airplane. So we have some blister uh, first aid items. Some more of those blister first aid items. We have some steri strips, some tegaderm, vet wrap bandaging tape, and then I have some items like this uh, triple antibiotic ointment. Sorry, and like anti itch cream, and I just carry it in there too. I also have some. Uh, I have an MP airway, some burn cream, and then some uh, povidone iodine, and uh, I think it's merthiolate here, and possibly some ammonia also, uh, inhalant, I think. Then I have, you know, the normal band-aids, uh, some medicines, diamode, some loratadine, and then some uh, motion sickness and allergy type medications some iodine, uh, they say prep pads, and then alcohol pads too. A thermometer, which can be quite useful. And then I just have like a pen light marker, emergency blanket, and tape. And this is the stuff that I throw in my bag and carry all the time. I think one more, one or two more items you can always use is some kind of uh, sugar items for a diabetic emergency. And, um... So, you know, I'm kind of cover some of the basics. So anyway, that's what I'm coming up with. Uh, hope you guys think about this stuff for yourself. And you can get a lot of this stuff online. Uh, and uh, pharmacies and stuff have them too, some of the items. Uh, take care. Bye.